Um, ooh, we have a new pair coming in. All right, here we go. First board. So 32 imp difference in the match. We have east opening a diamond, two or more diamonds. South over calls a heart, pretty good hand. West makes a negative double with a bunch of spades. That feels weird to me, but I don't really know systemically what's happening. East didn't want anything to do with spades, even after West tried to retransfer to the suit. So with a small singleton spade, they're in three now. How's this contract looking? Declares two tricks in, they can score three clubs, two diamonds, and a heart from here. That only looks like eight tricks. I don't really see a way to get a ninth. Yeah, it looks like we're going to sail down one, but the other table already has a result in. Four spades going down one. How did they get there? Oh, of course, West just opened two spades in first seat. I mean, reasonable. I don't think there's anything wrong with a two spade opener, despite the colors. Two spades past four spades, also reasonable by East. Figures a bunch of quick tricks and partner hopefully has a good spade suit for their opening bid. Maybe that's a reason to pass as West. But hard to stay out of game on this one, especially Reddit imps. So no swing. Oh, maybe this is a, wait. Oh no, Brad sent me a message on Discord, but also someone sent me a message of something. It is unfortunately not, oh yeah, this, this really is unfortunately not uh, information about free housing for Atlanta. That's kind of the only way I'm going to Atlanta in person, sadly. Yeah, you like the system cards, I will pull those up. That seems like a good thing to do, thank you. Not that I'm gonna understand them anyway. I, I really mostly rely on Al Hollander or my co-caster to <laughs> do system stuff. I have always been notoriously bad at system things. Oh, speaking of system things, hilariously, I got the inside scoop on the Wolenkin Helgamo system notes. And apparently it's just a watered down version of what um, Helgamo played with Hellness for many years. But, <laughs> and Chris's words, not mine, the system is awful. <laughs> um, he wishes that he could just play like Sacy. Al commented that one of the losing quarterfinal pair strong club responses were completely unique. Now, that's either like a really, really cool and good thing or something that's just awful and terrible and should never happen. Okay, this table is strong club first. Ooh, boom. Okay, one card here. And then the other table is two over one. Wow, look at these cards. These cards are so cute. It's almost like an ACBL card to some extent. Look at this. They have all the things, they have pretty colors. And just like, you know, a spade and no trump, semi-forcing, two clubs, natural, it's like gazilly. Wait. Oh, a spade, two clubs. Natural balance game force or invitational with three spades, two diamonds, natural game force. Look at this. This is wonderful. <laughs> I'm sorry. This line, this line got me. They say, they say Gerber when K 
Can we just write never? <laughs> what happens if we just write never in this box? <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is incredible. Okay, anyway, let's let's get back to the action. I, I now have some system cards and I'm gonna get like super confused about which one's which, but that's okay. We'll deal with it when we get there. Let's get Discord out of here. We don't need you. Cool. A club pass a diamond on which board? Oh, not, not one of these boards. A club pass a diamond earlier is four or more hearts, zero to nine, or 13 plus. Interesting. All right, what's going on in this hand? West has opened a spade in fourth seat. No trump by east. West decides to jump shift with a 16 count. Ugh, I hate it. 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 And now we're suddenly in three now. <laughs> a challenging beer card has been called. Yes. We're going to need a really obscure squeeze to <laughs> make sure the seven of diamonds takes the last trick. Also, there's no chance we're making this contract, right? Hmm. Like, the only suit we can really set up is the club suit, and East has no entries. Hmm. So how's this going to go? I mean, seven of hearts could be queen nine eight seven. So declare definitely needs to take the hook here. 20 opposite 5. Wait, 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 wait. Is it actually 20? Am I... Oh my god, it is 20. Okay, never mind. I was, I was criticizing the... Th I thought I counted 16 from West. West actually has a 20 count. Never mind. This is, this is all totally fine. This is just a little bit unfortunate. Okay, back to the play. I assume seven of hearts could be fourth best, right? Let's look at lead conventions for Thompson and Cooper. Boom. Thompson and Cooper. Uh, gonna have to figure out where the opening leads are. Wait for it. Play conventions. Oh, leads. OK. Verse no trump. Leads are fourth best. And they tend to give a lot of count signals. North, south. Good to know. <laughs> the leads are above Gerber. Thank you because I can locate the Gerber button on the card. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Hold on. This pair plays Gerber mostly all the time. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Is that what this means? So does that mean every single bid by them was Gerber? <laughs> okay, en enough fun. We're, we're, in, we're in serious bridge territory now. How's the hand going for Declare? I mean, not great. West has, I guess, oh, it's not actually so bad, right? <laughs> the asterisk is we're kidding. Could be.
Oh no, I'm totally like miss seeing the tricks. Look, you know, the, the Florida humidity is just overwhelming, I think. I've lost my ability to like think intelligently about, well, basically anything. <laughs> yeah, North South have four tricks. I was like, oh, Declare has four, three tricks already. They can date two spades and two hearts and the ace of clubs. They're, they're like pretty close to making this, right? <laughs> No, not at all. Yeah, so they can set up a spade here. But they will end up losing two spades in a club from here. At least I expect they'll probably lose two spades in a club. Maybe that's not true. I mean, if South pitches another club on the Ace of Hearts, they can get thrown at now. Declare just knocks out the Spade King. Okay. Yeah, as long as South continues throwing diamonds, they'll be okay, and they do. Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, and a club hoping to throw South in. Oh! What was that? Why did South need to hold on to the Eight of Diamonds, huh? Not that it's going to matter much. I mean, it's like one extra under trick that could have happened. Down three. Tough one. I mean, South found a good lead as well, a heart. Oh, Vugraf Operator may have lost track of the play a little bit. Should I confirm if, um, if that meant that the score? I wasn't really counting tricks, so Declare took Three hearts, two spades, and the ace of clubs is six tricks, down three. Okay, South must not have thrown that club. Must have pitched the diamond at the end. Ooh, interesting hand. I wonder if East is gonna find some opening bid. You know what? This could be what the convention cards are for. Two diamonds, weak two, and diamonds. So East does find an opening diamond bid. South will pass. West, I mean, depending on their style, might just pass two diamonds or could elect to try two spades. Like, they're not vulnerable, so if they happen to have a spade fit and miss a game, it's only a white game. And if they don't have a spade fit, it's very possible that two diamonds is the limit on this kind of misfit. I don't know, we'll see if West chooses to act. Like 16 opposite most of these preempts is probably not good enough to game force unless you have a fit. But it would be sad to miss out on a spade game, I guess. I'd be tempted to try two spades, I think. Right, like East could have 3-0 the other way in the majors if this is what their hand looks like. So West does trot out two spades, which is not gonna make East very happy. They'll bid three clubs. Two spades constructive non-forcing. Thank you. This is good. I have a co-caster. Like, even though Brad's not like on voice with me, it's like I have a co-caster. I can I can get all of the auction information that I otherwise would have no clue about. Although I guess it is directly on their convention card. Two diamonds, two hearts, two spades are both constructive non-forcing. Wow, kind of an unusual system. They would play two... Oh, God. Would anyone else be passing with East? That doesn't seem right to me. 
Like, surely three no trump from your partner's side has to be better than two spades from their side. So, like, in the worst case scenario, if three clubs was like, if your partner always bids over three clubs, um, and it's not to like preference back to three diamonds, then you just end up in three no trump. And it's not like anyone's gonna double. I don't know, passing out two spades feels pretty bad to me. Club lead is good for declarer. Let's well, gonna give him an entry to try heart finesse. Which seems like a pretty big deal. So what can declarer take? They can take a club, a heart, a diamond, Um, two trumps, and I mean, presumably they get the fifth round of trumps, so maybe this is down two, by my count. Like, potentially they could get an extra trick somewhere if the defense gets careless. I mean, or maybe even if the defense doesn't get careless, they could get an extra trick somewhere. Maybe Declare will just get a second club at some point. Gonna be hard to make eight tricks, though. You think they might have a 5-5 Miner's Week opening bid? Let me take a look while we wait on Declare to win the Jack of Clubs. Um, doesn't look like it, although I'm not familiar with these cards. Like, two clubs is precision style. Oh, they're, they're basically playing precision. Or whatever Minsk is. Wait, someone said Minsk. Oh, BZL said Minsk. I don't even know what Minsk is. What is Minsk? Anyway, apparently that's what um, East West are playing. But I do not see any sort of. unusual type bids. Ooh! Declare just stole a second club immediately. So yeah, I, I kind of understand from South's perspective that they don't want to rough with natural trump tricks, but I think, you know, it's very possible that West had ace-king third of clubs, right? And then as South were actually roughing a, uh, a winner and could potentially promote trumps for our partner. Like, presumably we switch to the jack of hearts looking at that 10 third and dummy. Get partner in for another club rough. Well, that's seven tricks if Declara can manage. Yeah, I mean, Declare is actually doing quite a nice job of trying to put some pressure on South here. South is going to have to work out to eventually start roughing with um, with their middle trump spots, like when the Ten of Clubs comes. I wonder though, because if Declare isn't using this diamond entry to take a heart finesse, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We figured it out. That's how the heart finesse happens. Oh God. The other table, I just noticed the result in the other room. Disaster. Oh no. 
guys. Uh. Well, it looks like we finally figured out why Thompson is leading the match by so much. Like, hold on. Are Spooner and Marky the table, or the pair, that also went for like 500 and two diamonds doubled at the beginning of the previous set on a psych? I think they were, right? Because once again, North has like effectively psyched a two diamond bid. There's no reason to be bidding two diamonds with three small in this auction. That's just crazy. Yeah, East just, East knew exactly what to do, especially given the vulnerability. All right, Declare's in the tank here. I mean, obviously Declare's thinking about taking this diamond finesse. Um, it would be probably the best hope of making the contract. And you're not doubled, you're not vulnerable. So I think, um, you know, if, if you're, kind of thinking it's 50-50 to try and make, then you may as well try it. The thing is... Okay, I declare is pulling a couple of trumps first before deciding what to do. It wasn't a psych. Their no trump range is like 9 to 14. Well, yeah, I mean, South had a 7 count. It was 9 to 13, I think. South had a 7 count on the previous board. Um, but two clubs was alerted as like so-and-so game forcing, and then they passed the two diamond response. So they were treating it as a psych. It's, it's not as if like they, they necessarily were trying to psych, they just happened to do so. I don't know, that, that wasn't a great way of describing it. <gasps> north through club, oh, north through club, but it doesn't matter, yeah. No, it did matter, right? If north had pitched diamonds and saved their clubs, then north would have been able to overrough that trick and beat it another. Oh well, I, I mean, whatever. Down one versus down two when the other table is going for 800, it just... <laughs> 13 imps. Cool. Way to go, Thompson. On to board 19. In a minute, whenever the board gets pulled up. Here we go. Ooh. North South have some stuff here. Looks like four hearts is the limit. Losing two clubs and a diamond. But presumably we're starting pass pass. A quick look at the East West cards in case West wanted to get frisky with some sort of opening bid, red white second seat. But I don't think they have anything fancy available to them. No two of a major that shows a uh, major minor two suitor. Match score in the other semi is 39-14. Is that in favor of the whichever squad had um, Peter Gill on it? Pass, pass, a heart by north. We see two hearts by south. Um, so as a past hand, I, I know this got alerted. I, I'm wondering if it's still, it looks like they're two of the major raises tend to be um, constructive. So it's announced as like six to 10. I wonder what the difference is when you're a past hand. Could it still be constructive or do they have like Drury as 
the invitational range or something in favor of Lou gotcha I feel like I am hyper delayed just FYI it seems as if there's about a 20 second delay in terms of people responding to me in chat I don't know it's don't it's, I'm not gonna make a big deal out of it just wanted to mention because it's it seems a little bit slower than uh, previous streams at other locations that I've been doing so just so you know Not gonna be much to the play of this one. Declare probably tries the Jack of Spades at trick one, unless the 10 is like a zero or two higher sort of thing. We can figure that out. The 10 is, nope, we can't figure this out. There's no, no hope for me. Well, Declare does try the 10, so that kind of confirms my suspicion that Maybe East could have had the queen, but now there's just really nothing to the play. Declare can pull trumps. Maybe try and duck a couple of clubs if the defense will let them. But the defense does have time. Oh no, the defense doesn't have time. Actually, they do need to get this right, don't they? Because if Declare ducks a club and they continue spades, then Declara can win and go club club, setting up a discard for their diamond. Other table made five, maybe on a similar line of play to what I suggested. Ten of spades lead, oh, to the ace. Interesting. Ace of hearts, queen of hearts, ten of clubs runs around to the queen, and now east is in this bind, right? Like, a diamond lead is necessary to set up your diamond trick, but looks a little scary. It's possible that Declare didn't stick in the jack of spades because they happen to have started with three spades, in which case East would need to continue spades. They do. But now Declare can um, set up their club discard for a diamond pitch. So big decision from West here as to what to discard. I think the best discard would, okay, well, Queen of Diamonds is going to make things very easy, but um, I was going to say a count card in spades would be very helpful, if possible. That way East would know whether or not a spade is caching. But yeah, Queen of Diamonds. Now even if Declare does cross in hearts and runs the Ten of Clubs, East should have no problem leading a low diamond or the King of Diamonds. So good defense by West. Kind of a clever play as well, that if East was sitting on like ace fourth of diamonds, now East would know not to lead away from the diamond ace and instead wait until their partner got in with their club trick or spade trick or whatever. This is not one of the hands that we should be spending five minutes thinking about. Come on, Cooper, you can do it. <laughs> okay, they go ace of clubs and a low club, yeah? Now the jack of diamonds comes through. That was the whole point of the queen of diamonds discard. Maybe a claim's about to happen.
wow, I... <laughs> I really hope West isn't thinking about playing a spade here. Okay, they do switch to the Ten of Diamonds. That's going to set up their trick. Presumably that Five of Diamonds was count from East. This, this isn't like a trivial hand to defend, but I mean, given the way that you've defended up to this point, obviously when West gets in with the Club King, they just have to play a diamond. They no longer have a spade set up that they could potentially cash. So West basically had to guess. Does Declare have a doubleton diamond, doubleton spade, or do they have a singleton diamond, three small spades? Although that was earlier. All right. Diamond over to sand. And a hard-earned one imp going the way of Spooner. But if they're going to continue having some of these big double-digit swings go against them, it's going to be pretty tough to catch up in this match. There's still a lot of boards to play, but we could see a huge blowout by the end of the first day. I mean, we're, mid we're just at the start of the second segment out of four today, and Thompson's almost batting three to one in imps with over, I mean, close to a 50 imp lead. Well, let's see what happens. Next couple of boards. East West bid to three no trump in the other room and ended up making 12 tricks. 12 feels like a lot. <laughs> they do say that, Brad. You win an imp here and you win an imp there, and pretty soon you're just up by two. I think they say that about the start of matches, though. Not when you're already down by close to 50. Well, West opens a heart. East has a good hand, 17 count. King, queen, double, 10 of hearts is nice. King, 10, fifth of clubs is good. So I think they bid two clubs, which shows balanced or so like a balanced game force of any kind or three card heart support limit raise. So West presumably bids two diamonds to ask. And now East is going to bid three clubs, maybe? I, I don't really know their system. But if three clubs effectively shows a balanced hand with a club suit, then that would make sense. You played an imp Swiss on the weekend, and you <laughs> you took the philosophy of just picking up an imp here or there. Did it work out for you? Did you win a bunch of matches by like six or seven? Not terribly interesting that neither East chose to push past three no trump, but I mean a little bit. King, queen, double ten of hearts looks like excellent cards. And the rest of your hand is all aces and kings with a five card suit and some spot cards. I don't think slam is completely out of the picture. Like if West had queen double ten of clubs instead of this hand, Six hearts is probably not a terrible contract. <laughs> hey, you got a 10 imp win in there. That's not bad. I mean, if that's a typical match, it sounds like you were doing pretty well. We get the nine of spades lead. So Declare has three spades, five hearts, two diamonds off the top, which is 10, 
Ken set up an 11th in clubs. The other table made 12 tricks, which feels like a lot. How did they make 12 tricks? That's incredible. So this feels like it might be an imp or maybe even two imps going back the way of Thompson. Spade around to the queen and ace. Again, probably not one of these hands that you really want to dwell on too much. Like, as declarer, I might just lead a low club to the jack right now. Sure. I don't I don't like this plan because it's like when the club finesse loses and, and it's not as if we're actually setting up multiple club tricks. Even if North had the queen, they would cover probably. Now South just wins and knocks out a spade. I mean, presumably you were planning on conceding a diamond trick anyway at the end, so maybe it's not so bad. Oh well. You know, it's true that South can set up a fourth spade but just doesn't have an entry to get there. And the longer that South thinks, the more confident Declare will be of that assessment. So I think I think Declare probably will just knock out the club base and make 11 tricks from here. But one imp going the way back to Thompson, I believe. This is all still a little bit scary, you know? Like, hearts could be 5-1. Like, so nine-fifth of hearts could be in someone's hand, and if South switches to diamonds here, it's possible that you strand a heart trick over in West Sand. But anyway, does feel like 11 tricks are going to happen. Hmm. Yeah, South actually does have a lot to think about I'm, now that I'm realizing, mostly because East's hand is concealed in the auction for this 2-no bid, and East has substantial extras. It's a little sad that we waste so much time on some of these boards, but I think that's just the way of things. It does feel as if a diamond switch is correct. Although I could see South switching to hearts. Like maybe that makes sense too, right? East could have a small doubleton heart and it might be important for Declare to put hearts through. I, I suspect... No, you know what? Here's why a heart switch doesn't make any sense. East could easily have like king doubleton or queen doubleton. It's not as if like East going after the club suit necessarily means they have weak hearts. The fourth round of spades, or third round of spades comes, king of clubs, and now Declare is going to claim once they find out North doesn't have the fourth spade. Or thirteenth spade, I should say. So one imp going the way of Thompson. I hate this. Please just thank you. North finally played a card. 
All right, now Declare can claim Ace of Diamonds, Club pitching a diamond, unblock the hearts. On to board 21, we got 10 boards to play in this segment, and then I am done. And, oh man. What am I actually doing in terms of like eating this evening? I'm not convinced that <laughs> I am eating this evening. <laughs> you know, I found a McDonald's the other day. It was like 25 minutes away. I had to go drive to get there, which maybe if you're in another country, that's not such a weird thing. In the US, there's like a McDonald's at the corner of every block. I don't think I've lived in a location that there wasn't a McDonald's within walking distance of me. So the fact that I had to drive like 10 miles to get to one is kind of insane. Maybe I will have to do that again. East opens one of these famous, I guess, 9 to 13 ish no trumps. Let me take a look. Uh, 8 to 12. You did your work for today on fixing up the AI generated images. That's nice. And I guess those are your results from the imp whatever thing that you played, the imp Swiss. So by my quick math there, it looks like you are ahead uh, by 86 or something like that, 87. No, 86 feels right. Over... How many boards is this? 4, 8, 21, 19. So that's 40 and 16 is 56 boards. I mean, an imp, like 1.6 imps or 1.7 imps a board. That's not too bad as a butler. East opens a no trump. Other table got to play in one spade on their 4-4 spade fit. Wow. How did that happen? South opened a club. North bid one spade, showing what? Four spades, zero to five high card points? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Also, one club shows zero plus clubs, but it's not precision. It's just like natural without showing any <laughs> suits. <laughs> this is lovely. This is a great system. Australia, I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Queen of Clubs looks like a good start for Declare in one no trump here. The systems in the other semifinal are a bit more normal. Yeah, that that's believable. Diamond to the eight wins. North wasn't even interested in splitting. I, I mean, it, it makes sense, but I think you know Declare is playing a diamond to the 10. I, I suppose Declare could have like ace 10, 8 fourth, and is planning on playing low to the 8 as the percentage play, and your partner wins 9 doubleton. So, sure, there's some rationale then for not splitting the diamond suit. I also kind of just understand it from North's perspective. It's like, fine, so I split the diamond suit and Clara now sets up a bunch of diamonds. We're not getting tricks in the suit partner led. I guess spades is some hope, but we are, we're only taking four spade tricks at most. Pretty reasonable. 
So I think we'll see a spade pitch from north here. And then declare likely to set up diamonds, I think. I mean, they could, of course, like play a diamond to the ace and take a heart hook, which is not crazy. Wow, North is hanging on to that last spade. What about heart to the ace, heart to the queen? Is that crazy? I mean, obviously, if Declare takes the heart hook and throws south in, um, they'll end up scoring a ton of tricks. Because then Declare will get the Spade King as well. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like this plan, right? Because if the King of Hearts is on side, then maybe south is end played into leading spades. Obviously south should exit a heart here. Well, other table is zooming ahead in terms of um, Pace, they've finished board 22. Six imps going the way of Spooner with both tables stopping at a low enough level. Playing at the one level, in fact. Kind of unusual to play at the one level in a 4-4 four, four fit in a major, but I guess systemically they were just able to do it. Huh. So East passes in first seat, South will definitely open a spade. We, I mean, I wouldn't be tempted to bid with West's hand over a spade opener, but we'll see what this West does. I, <laughs> yeah, okay, they do bid two hearts. I, I think this is just a bid that's asking for trouble. Like you're red on white and your partner's a past hand, you don't have any tricks, probably not going to get in too much trouble on this hand, because North elects to make a, oh, oh snap, look at this, East not really reading the situation, finds a raise, yeah, this could be very dicey, uh, but South tries three spades. Understandable. I mean, South doesn't really know that West was joking when they made the two heart overcall. Otherwise, three hearts ripped could have been a huge pickup. Looks like we've landed in the same spot in both rooms. I wonder. Yeah, in the other room, Wes didn't even think of coming in with two hearts, and then North-South kind of on their own power just blasted into three no trump, which over there it sailed down two. I mean, makes sense. Here it seems likely to also go down two. I, I don't think East is gonna find a club lead. I think they probably should be leading their partner's suit. They know they have at least nine hearts between them, probably 10 more often than nine. So there it is, seven of hearts. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Whoops. Um, I mean, eight top tricks. It's not as if like we're in a terrible spot, right? If they don't find a heart lead, then we could presumably try and pick up the club suit. 
to make a ninth trek. Taking the beer is easy for the uh, for the last trick. Is that actually true? That they, they won't make the contract. No, I, I don't believe that they will make the contract. So other table went down too, but that. Could be, I, I, I don't know, let's see what the opening lead was. Oh, they got a club lead. So they could have made this, right? They have five diamonds, two spades, and a heart. If they guessed the clubs at trick one, which they didn't. Wow. That's scary. You know, I, I don't really take that into consideration, at least not often enough, that West, um, West two heart bid at least dictates the opening lead against three now. And so now Declare has no chance. Still, I mean, it's a non-vulnerable game swing if your partner doesn't find the heart lead sometimes. And so it wasn't even at the other table when they get misguessed. Why did Phil not splinter the other table over a spade past two diamonds? Probably because, um, I mean, it could be for a number of reasons. One, the splinter might promise five card support because two diamonds, I think, could encapsulate four card suits. I, I don't know the other table's system all that well. So if North could only have four diamonds for the game force, then you really want to have at least nine trumps before you splinter. And if not, it's possible the splinter shows like a specified range of values, which South Sand just doesn't have. I don't know. I, I can't tell you without knowing more about the system, but that is a good question. Because you're thinking that five diamonds looks like a pretty gin contract, and I would agree. Five diamonds might be a much better spot. Even if you misguess the clubs, you have a decent chance of being able to lose two clubs, and that's it. I, I guess you're actually just cold for five diamonds, right? Yeah. Hmm. Certainly, six diamonds could make double dummy. But Declara would have to guess the clubs and then also kind of time the play somewhat well. I suppose the spade's set up, but, you know, the, the defense might lead a club at trick one or something. Well... Declare here appears to need the club ace on side to make this one. They can unblock the ace of spades. They could cash the king of diamonds if they want, but it's possible Declare just leads a club to the king right now, hoping for six three hearts and the club ace in east hand. Not a... I mean, like, not crazy, but still, the guy did make a red on white too hard over call. Maybe a little bit nuts. Yeah, six diamonds is double dummy. I, I think five diamonds is actually a reasonable place to get to. And maybe at this table, they should have got there. The two heart over call. North made a negative double. Like, South's bid over three hearts, I don't think is automatic. Like, three spades doesn't seem forced to me. You don't have to bid. Sure, South has heart shortness, but so what? You've already opened a little bit light. Your partner doesn't have spade support. And you, you probably do have a diamond fed. You know, four spades also not a bad contract. 
with all these spade spots. I do believe this table north-south could have done better, um, given the, the hard overcall that kind of indicated no Trump wasn't the place to be. Fifteen count for south. Um, at equal red, they play. Oh, you know what? They're they're not the ones that are doing um, the weird ranges of no trump, are they? No, one knows just fifteen to seventeen. But south elects to open a heart anyway. Do they play gazilli? This could explain their choices. I have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm never going to be able to figure out convention cards in general. I don't see Gazilli listed on the card, but I could be looking in the wrong place. But that's kind of a reason why some players might prefer not to open a no trump with some types of hands. Wow. This auction took a turn. A heart double by west looks reasonable. Four hearts by north. Course, five diamonds by east. Big bid, but probably a pretty good one. So now south has a choice to make. I mean, they know they don't have great defense. King of spades looks like it's friendly for, the, uh, for east west. Ace of clubs, presumably a trick. I mean, ace of hearts, Probably a trick. But five diamonds could be making. I wouldn't be surprised if South just trots out five hearts here. Now they go for a for the slow pass. Alright, West, the the show's over. You, you don't have to take any more time. The stock card is already back in the bidding box. You can, uh, you can just confidently put, put your pass card on the table. <laughs> like, I don't know what West is thinking about. Are they thinking about raising? They're like, whew, partner bid to five diamonds all on their own, and I have the ace and king of trumps? That's two tricks that partner wasn't even counting on me having. <laughs> I'm having a good time with this. This is like the Gib auctions where they just like bump you to slam. <laughs> but, but like Queen Jack 10 of clubs and Queen Jack 4 of spades are not offensive assets. Those are defensive. Like you made this takeout double and you're like, if it's a part score deal, we're ready. <laughs> and then game bid, game bid back to you. I, I could not possibly have passed quicker. I think North is going to check it out. So how would five hearts have done? I'm curious, because we don't have a result in the other room yet. East, West, and the other room are in four spades? Guys, I don't know if I can take this. <laughs> this is... <clears throat> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello? Well, now we double, right? <laughs> this is... This is peak Australia. <laughs> Oh, God. I... Okay, South didn't double. I mean, totally fair, right? Like, it's kind of insane. Now you know your Ace of Hearts isn't cashing, so I guess you'd be banking on the King of Spades taking a trick or a partner having something. Four spades down four?! <laughs> Uh, 
I, I'm sure these are all like wonderful people that I'm just having a real blast watching this match. <laughs> this is amazing. You say if West leads a low club? North needs to hop up with the king. I see. So declare roughs this and then caches the diamond ace and then leads the two of clubs. But yeah, South can win the eight. Yeah, if, if East had the nine of clubs, single to nine, then that would be true. I'm, I'm sure East is sitting here like, what is this nonsense dummy that partner put down? East was like, man, I have a good hand for this auction. You know, I bid five diamonds. I happen to have an ace. Uh, I know partner's void in hearts, but also like the singleton club is now looking great. Partner surely has the club ace for this raise to slam. <laughs> nope, <laughs> not close. <laughs> Like, what was, okay, let, let me try and imagine what West thought their partner's hand looked like, right? So East definitely has queen six the diamonds. They need to hold their black suit losers to one. So if East had, like, the ace of spades and the king of clubs, that would be enough. Uh, I don't know, like sometimes people pre like, yes, it's possible East has that hand, right? It's possible, but Sometimes people preempt and you just have to take the low road and get your plus score. You know, hope your teammates make the same preempt. Sometimes things split badly when preempts happen. You have to realize your partner's under pressure in these auctions. Yeah, meanwhile, Meanwhile, South thinking about ducking the ace of clubs, plays a club back, but that's all fine. Declare only gets one discard on the ten of clubs. <clears throat> so, six diamonds down one, four spades down four. Big pickup for the East-West squads here. They score seven imps for going down less than their counterparts in the other room. What happened at the other table? A heart by south. Pass by west? What? Is this the right auction? There's no way, right? There's just zero chance. Hey, Rob. It's nice to see Scissors playing Serious Bridge. And the Renee Cooper sometimes seen on Pete Holland's YouTube vids. Oh, I, I actually don't know any of these people. Wait, who's Scissors? Yeah, which one of these... Uh, Clowns is scissors. Is it at this table? <laughs> you don't have to answer that, but I am curious. Please PM me. East. East. Wait, has East been doing... Oh, East is the one who's just been doing normal things all day? Well, that's disappointing. 
Actually, I don't know. I have not been paying close attention to East, but I think East is uh, is the only one that I, I haven't lost my mind with some of their actions so far. But what the, wait, let's, hold on, hold on. I was not done distressing about this, this, right here in the bottom right. Hold on. Like, what happened in the other room? Did West actually pass over a heart? And then East made a takeout double of four heart? There's no way, right? This has to be the wrong auction. I don't know, whatever, moving on. Three spades by West, who is clearly on tilt after the previous board, and East just fielding it says, I know, I know when my partner goes on tilt, it's every time they raise they raise me a trick and I go down. So East with Jack 10 third of spades and a 10 count doesn't even bother raising three spades to four. Double by South, three no by North. Three spades is completely normal. <laughs> yep, you keep telling yourself that. If so, then I guess that would explain East non-raise. 6-4 with good spots. <laughs> you know, you know what kind of hand has good spots? A zero count with all the tens? I mean, is that what we're comparing this to? Because like Queen 9-8 sixth of Trumps is not really the uh the ideal trump suit we want to be preempting with. Like, two spades is perfectly fine. I think it's totally good to bid two spades on this hand. We're like well within our range, whatever that's supposed to be. <laughs> but the three level on such a terrible suit. The young Aussies preempt very aggressively for seat white. I have noticed that. Oh, is Doki? a young Aussie. We don't get pictures or anything of the people. There's no player bios. How's three no doing, by the way? Declare has four hearts, two spades, two diamonds. And a Declare just has nine top tricks and has been in the tank for like five minutes. Did I miscount this? Four hearts, two spades, two diamonds, and a club. Oh, yeah. It is totally just nine top tricks. Cool. So, like, technically, if you duck the first trick, you're kind of putting yourself at risk if clubs are 5-1. Oh, you're putting yourself at risk if clubs are 4-2, actually. Yeah, it's it's insane to duck the first trick. I was going to say, like, maybe it's reasonable. Like, at match points, maybe you do it, right? Hope that spades are 7-2, win the second spade, knock out the hard ace, east can't play a third spade, and then maybe you can set up a diamond trick. But yeah, it imps. I mean, I mean, just let's get on to the next board. Come on, people, chop, chop, win the ace of spades, knock out the heart. <gasps> this is insane. What if East had four clubs and found a club switch? Oh my God. This is crazy. What did we get? So from 2020, we have, oh, okay. So a bunch of these are young players. 
looks like North is a young player. Um, Spooner. Do we have any Spooners here? Not, not right now. And then Thompson. Oh, but different Thompson. Jamie Thompson. So not B Thompson is a young player. Cool. These were all... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, we, ha we, we have to um, get this picture up. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is West. I just love this because it's clear that he's at like a press conference right now. He has a microphone in front of him and he's like, this is the best picture they have of him in the Australia Bridge Federation. This is Ducky. Am I saying that right? Doki? Ducky? All right. Anyway, back to the play. Declare has successfully knocked out the hard ace and looks like is well on their way to making nine tricks. B. Thompson is, oh, now I've forgotten the name, Jason, Justin's uncle, the, the other Thompson's uncle. Got it. It's like Doki Doki. Cool. West has just thrown all of their spades. No interest in that suit whatsoever. So East needs to work out to pitch a club here, and that might be tough. Otherwise, we're going to get an overtrick. Oh, look at that. What a player. Wow. Oh, this is scissors, right? Way to go, scissors. You're killing it. This is why we say scissors is the best. Scissors does does seem to be doing quite well, although um, their team not doing so hot. <laughs> Down 34. Declare long in the tank on this jack of diamonds. Now all the spades are gone, so it's totally safe to duck this trick. And also quite reasonable to dump the 10 of diamonds. Ooh, big misplay, although it's not going to cost. That 7 of diamonds could have been an important card to take the last trick with. Ultimately, push board. Three no trump making nine tricks at both tables. <clears throat> we got six boards to go, and then players and myself will be taking a long break. North should be opening. 11 count, an ace and two kings, five card spade suit. Yeah, this is only the second of fourth segment being played today. But I think they have a break for lunch or something. I actually don't know what time it is over there. But I suspect they have a break in between the second and third sets. So spade by north, pass by east. 1 p.m. already? Yeah, then players should be pretty hungry. I mean, they didn't get a break in between the first and second sets. And while it's going to be six-handed teams, obviously some of the pairs have been playing both segments, so they'll need to get some food. So spade by north, two clubs by south, just uh, game-forcing balanced hand type, or potentially could have clubs. Two spades by north, looks like a minimum? Hold on. Let me let me pull up what's actually going on here. Okay, so north-south are playing kind of this uh, 
two clubs is balance game force or three card limit. I guess that means two spades is um, rejecting a three card limit raise, which makes sense. So two diamonds would be the like sort of artificial asking bid. Two no by south confirms the game force and north raises to three now. Kind of reasonable, the doubletons are quite strong. No real need to show the four card diamond suit, especially when partner has a balanced hand. Like five diamonds is pretty far away. Langert says the lunch is getting delivered to the players. That's nice. Yeah, definitely nice to have, you know, not have to worry about your lunch plans. I do wonder, this is my first day here doing like a pseudo long stream, as well as being a little bit louder than usual. And I have the feeling that the walls in this place that I'm living are a little bit thin. Fortunately, I mean, I, I, fortunately it's like 9 p.m. right now. I don't think anyone's gonna be like sleeping, but I probably want to uh, have a quick chat with some of my neighbors if I can figure out who they are before I actually start doing the Solway coverage because I'm going to be loud, <laughs> and as everyone knows. Three now Trump looks like it's mostly going to be about over tricks in this contract. Opening lead doesn't really hurt Declare, but East presumably can get both aces and the king of hearts, West could get the diamond king at some point. I I wonder if Declara will try the nine of diamonds at trick one, figuring that it'll pick off most of these singletons. They do. So a bit unlucky that that gets covered by the 10 here. Although Declara is probably going to be going after the major suits to set up tricks for the most part. So Queen of Spades holds the first round of the suit. Jack of Spades might do the same. And now Declara does need to make some choices because they could play a heart to the ace and a heart back, which I think is a pretty reasonable approach. Looks like that's what they're going with. So with hearts 4-3, this is, ooh, a spade discard from North Sand. I, I was thinking we might pitch a diamond because we know those diamonds are going to be kind of worthless, but it makes sense to throw a spade. I mean, obviously, if he switches to the ace of spades, we're pretty happy from here. So a heart comes back. That's our sixth trick. We have two more coming in clubs and one more in diamonds at the very least. And West kind of gets squeezed on this trick a little bit. Like, if they pitch a club, then East is going to have to work out to cash the spade ace when they get in to hold us to nine tricks. So there it is. There's a club pitch. Now a club to the king. And right, East does have a decision to make. Ooh, maybe it maybe it actually doesn't matter. If East catches the spade ace, then the Diamond King goes away. So there's just always. Yeah, East needed to duck the King of Clubs, right? Ooh. Oh no, it doesn't matter. A club back to the jack, and now, of course, we have to set up the King of Diamonds for West. Or, sorry, better said, if we could cash the Club Queen, we could then, like, throw West in. But we cannot do that. Now 
Nine tricks. Push board onto board 26. Five boards to play in this set. Things have calmed down after the first segment. I mean, at least a little bit. There was still the two diamonds doubled fiasco in one room. But for the most part, I mean, a couple of small part score swings and then kind of a ridiculous board, 23. Six diamonds down one picks up seven imps. But a lot of push boards. East gets to open. I wonder what opening bid they'll choose. I mean, I could see almost anything. Like, one heart is very reasonable. Uh, I know some players who might even open four hearts. It's probably a little bit much with the doubleton spade. If we had a spade void and doubleton diamond, then I think four hearts would have a lot more going for it. But three hearts might be like a down the middle preempt with the six five. One heart is like eight ish to 15. Gotcha. Yep, I do see that on the card. It just takes me forever to look at these convention cards. So heart by east, a spade by west, two clubs by east, no bidding by north-south. Two diamonds by west, artificial game force. We will now get to see east rebid two hearts. Looks pretty reasonable. Or, or, okay, well east bids two hearts, which I, I think is totally fine. I was going to say, I think East could bid two spades here and get away with it, showing an honor doubleton, because again, East would be expected to raise one spade to two with three on an unbalanced hand, like close to 100% of the time. I, I mean, I don't know if this East-West pair would have that agreement, but it's pretty, I think it's pretty common. You think Slam might make here with seven spades a heart roughing finesse and a diamond rough. Holy cow, what? <laughs> Hold on a second. What are we doing about all of our diamonds? Three clubs. Wait, 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 wait. Three clubs? <laughs> okay, I didn't see that part of it. No, 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 how are we ever getting three clubs? We have no entry to East Sand. Okay, 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 okay. I was... <laughs> Chat, you can't troll me like this. I believe everything you say. Well, Wes showed a single suited game force hand with or single suited game forcing hand with spades with that two spade bid, so he selected to just jump to four spades. Pretty reasonable. I would say. North on lead. I mean, how can you not lead a diamond? I, I guess a trump has some merit, actually. Yeah, I could see north lead a trump. But a diamond feels like almost automatic. It's the unbid suit. You have a lot of diamonds, and they're all very small. The diamond trick could easily go away if you don't take it now. Jack-10, third of hearts is a pretty terrible holding sitting in front of the, uh, the heart bitter. So the diamond does come. I'm kind of curious. I mean, it, it looked natural to me to lead a diamond, but maybe a, a trump lead on this kind of auction where it's like East is, has known diamond shortness makes some sense. The, the only scare is like, what if what if your side actually has a big diamond fit, right? Like West is six, one, two, four, and East has ace, king, queen, sixth of hearts. You know, you lead a trump, declare wins, plays ace, king, queen of hearts, pitching two diamond losers. That's one thing that could go wrong with leading a trump. I'm sorry. What? Hold on. 
Guys. Does South know that spades are Trump and not hearts? <laughs> this... How could this possibly have been the way trick one went? There's, there's no, there's no way, right? Yeah, it, I mean, it's, sure, it's totally cold, but like... Could South really not have just like taken the diamond ace earlier? No, I couldn't. Okay, fair enough. I get it. <laughs> I mean, West didn't need to have the king queen of diamonds, right? West could have just like had king third. Now you lose to the king of diamonds, they rough a diamond, they rough a heart, they rough a diamond, you have no diamond losers. Yeah, this is just a, it might be a trick, it might not be a trick. South, South wanted to prove that you were right and slam was makeable. Well, you almost got your wish, but with Declare being in a 10 trick contract, they just found a kind of claim for 10 or 11 tricks here, depending on the club ace. And they have claimed exactly on that. Pull trumps, lead a club up to the king. So I'm surprised. North is a youngish player, um, but is uh, appears to be like very, very thoughtful. So not like particularly fast. I found, I mean, most young players play very quickly. At least that tends to be the trend. It's, it's not always true. But that's a little bit surprising. Cooper and Smith. Wait, who's Smith? Different player then. Um, but Cooper, North, young and very slow. Yeah. M. Smith is on Smooner. Oh, Matt Smith. Yep, yep, yep. Got it. We see a strong no trump by South. Wow, look at them go. Right, yeah, the North-South pair is playing just kind of like a basic two over one. So a no trump, two clubs, looks like the majors. I guess North is intending to treat this hand as like a balanced invite. I would be concerned after that major suit overcall. Like, yes, King, Queen, Fifth of Diamonds looks good. I, I mean, I suppose Queen, Ten, Nine of Clubs could be okay, right? Like if partner has Ace, Jack, Third or something, you should have three club tricks in awful quite often, given the major suited overcall on your left or right. I'm just concerned about the um, slow values. Like the Jack of Hearts is doing nothing for you. Uh, queen 10, nine of clubs. Like if partner has King Jack of clubs, you might have zero club tricks and no trump. Now, now I'm just lost. Why did South not pass out two spades doubled? South has three aces, 10 high card points in the majors, and four spades. The opponents are in trouble, right? I mean, maybe they weren't. Spades are kind of friendly. Declare can lose two hearts, a spade, a club, and a diamond, but I mean, realistically, Declare is getting tapped, so I guess it goes down one.
like North leads the King of Diamonds. Hmm. <clears throat> what? <laughs> I would certainly rather be defending <laughs> two spades doubled than playing in a 3-3 three, three club fit here. <laughs> what? I have the feeling that North-South might not have been on the same page about what's going on. It's still hard to imagine three clubs on North's hand ever being the right bid. Like if Tuno was pick a minor, which I, I don't know if it was or not, then wouldn't we pick three diamonds with five diamonds and three clubs? Hmm. Maybe North thought they were playing like transfers over two no here and three clubs was supposed to be like a transfer to diamonds. I don't know, something weird has happened. I'm not gonna speculate further, but how bad is this? Well, other table was in two spades and did go down one. We have as north south, we have a spade I was gonna say we probably have two hearts, but maybe we don't anymore, right? Now that West is gonna be able to play a third round of spades and East can shed a heart. So maybe we only get the ace of spades, the ace of hearts, two trumps, and two diamonds, down three? That's possible. Why is the second double by North takeout? Dude, I, I don't know what's going on with the auction. Like, so, if the first double by North was like penalty oriented, then the second double by North should be penalty. Yeah, if, so, if the first double was intended as penalty, then the second double is penalty. But from North's hand, it's very clear that the first double was not penalty, right? So I think North was intending the first double as like stamen and then just treating the hand as like a balanced invite. So they were gonna have the auction, you know, two clubs, two diamonds, two, two no, and then South was gonna do whatever they did over the no Trump invite. Um, in which case, I guess I would assume that the double of two spades is takeout. Now, when that happens, and I think I've said this a bunch, you should never play a natural two no trump. If you're planning on bidding a natural two no trump, you should either bid three no trump, or you should pass the double and convert it to penalty. And I, I'm not saying for this reason, but I think that's like just good advice in general. Yeah, that's a good point, BZL, that if two clubs is specifically majors, then double can be something else. True, I, I still don't know what's going on from North-South's perspective. So it's hard to say who's kind of at fault. I mean, I, I think, in terms of the final contract, I would say North. I, I really don't like the three club bit. I, I just, it's a little bit unbelievable that three clubs could ever be the right thing to do on North's hand. Um, maybe something to learn, especially if North is like a junior player, is that in auctions that are, that like, it could be the case you and your partner aren't on the same page, you don't want to make like artificial bids. Uh, you really want every bid to be passable by your partner, if you can help it. So I think I would have just bid three diamonds. If partner took this as like a transfer to hearts, I would bid three no trump. And if partner just like kept bidding, then I would be like, look partner, at the end of the auction, neither one of us really knew what the other had. 
we just have to sit down and say, like, let's slow things down next time. Well, anyway, we're in this terrible contract. That's all fine. Maybe this is even going down four. I mean, West might get a diamond rough the way things are going now. I don't know if Declare could could or should have done better, but it's kind of true that Declare could have like led a low club towards the queen 10 when they were in with the spade ace. East would win, presumably play a heart throw and Declara could then, like, duck, rough the spade with the Ten of Clubs, pull a second trump, knock out the diamond. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's actually not much Declara could do to avoid this problem. Your partner made a double that you didn't know whether it was takeout or penalty. <laughs> You cubed the opponent's suit and ended up playing there. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, these things happen to everyone, and eventually, if it happens enough times to you, you either get frustrated and find a new game to play. You know, I, I, I hear table tennis is the new big thing, or the new hot topic. Steph is a table tennis expert, and he's taking on all challenges in Atlanta. But if you don't take up a new game to play and you still want to play bridge, then I think uh, you eventually figure out that it's probably a good idea to just try and make natural bids in these unusual situations. All right, so the eight of spades comes. Spades will be the hot new thing in Atlanta. Okay. Fun trivia fact. So, <laughs> God, I, showing my age here, when I was growing up, I learned how to play spades before I even knew the game of bridge existed. Um, and I was like 12 or 13 or something. And Yahoo Games was like the hot place to play things on the internet. This this would have like predated Bridge Base Online, I think. Um, so I played on Yahoo Games, and I became the number one ranked spades player on Yahoo Games when I was like 12 years old, which was great. I, I knew what a finesse was. I knew what count signals were. This was before I even learned about bridge. So when, when I finally got around to a game where it's like finessing and giving count signals was like automatic and those are like the things you learn day one of card play, I was like, oh my god, this game's so much cooler. <laughs> wow, the three of spades return. This is a juicy play, huh? really enforcing that East gets to rough this and give West a diamond rough. I'm not sure this is necessarily good. It does look as if Declare is going to escape for down a few less now, right? What? <laughs> Hello? What is East doing? Uh, excuse me? Still steaming about board 23. How could partner have bid six diamonds like this? Good point. All right, four amps going away of Spooner because Thompson went down in both rooms. 
unfortunate part score contracts. You played Hearts as a kid. It was built into early versions of Windows. See, I, I did learn how to play Hearts. I played a little bit on the, you know, like Windows 98 or whatever it was back in the day. Um, I think, actually, I mean, I still have Windows. Is there Hearts? No. They don't have anything on these computers. Wow, they have like no fun stuff. Okay, well, apparently Hearts doesn't exist on Windows anymore. But yeah, I do remember that. My dad used to play Hearts. That was his game. He really liked playing Hearts. I mean, he, d he doesn't know anything about Bridge. He doesn't know how to play Spades. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't play Poker. There's, there's like no card game. He only played Hearts. Three boards to play. Other room got to four spades north-south. Wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Other room got to four spades, but note the declarer. Other room ended up in four spades in the north. Any guesses as to how that happened? Oh, maybe north opened a no trump in second seed or something silly? They did. They play, hold on, they play 9 to 13, second seat unfavorable. This is like super Omega Giga Chad. <laughs> Transfer to spades. South just blasts game with their 6 5 over the no Trump opener. Hearts and Cribbage, ooh. So I have played basically every card game known to man at least once, but I don't remember most of them. So I'm not familiar with Cribbage, like at all. Pinochle is a game that I played a decent amount of. I don't really remember bidding in Pinochle. I, I know they're, yeah, I forget what it was. It, like certain bids show some amount of meld or whatever. But that game was a little complicated. I mean, the play of the game was like very easy and straightforward. You just play all of your aces and then and then move on. I mean, like there's a little bit of strategy to it and you can give a few signals to your partner, but for the most part, it's just like play all of your aces and play your kings under your partner's ace. That's really all there is to the game. Wow, okay. So we have a little bit of a different auction here. The no trump opener froze East out in the other room, but here with East being able to open a, not a diamond, East West found their diamond fit. It's actually a little surprising to me that Declare made four spades in the other room. I'm just noticing West could have two trump tricks. King of diamonds lead, ace of hearts continuation, and a club switch. Declare led a spade to the king and then played a spade to the nine. Very well done. That, that easily could have been a game going down here. Tough hand. So five diamonds gets doubled in the other room. Now South's on lead. Does seem pretty natural to lead the singleton. North could have the ace of hearts. Ooh, that's true. Cribbage comes with a board. I do remember that. That is kind of nice. I have had friends before who have made like specialty boards for specific games, like either board games or card games or whatever, which is really cool. I don't recall how long someone said it took, but I think someone said it took like a month or something to craft like a fancy board for something. It looked really nice. I mean, the fine, the end product was incredible.
I mean, it looks like this contract might be down one, depending on... I don't know, maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but if Declare reads this as a singleton heart, they technically can, I don't know if they have the timing to do this, they can set up the fourth round of hearts, pull one round of trumps, rough two spades in the east hand, and eventually get back over to west hand to, uh, pull the last trump. But maybe it's a little too slow. I mean, maybe North-South can actually just start leading clubs and promote like the eight, seven of diamonds into a trick somehow. Okay, it feels like maybe down two. I mean, it's not gonna make up for the 420 or 620 scored in the other room in four spades. So whether this is down one or down two is only going to be a handful of imps. Seven or it's still going to be a seven or 11, I guess, as a pickup going the way of, or maybe eight or 11 for 320 or 520. So going the way of Spooner. But Declare does need to think for a sec on how to go about this. You know, one important thing that I think Declare probably will be doing is trying to figure out a layout where Four Spades is making, right? Because they, they've taken the save, and now that they've seen their partner's hand, if they're cashing three red suit tricks, then their partner has a natural spade trick. So the opponents must have singletons in both red suits. And I think that's the start of the plan for Declare. The seven of hearts does look like a singleton. So now Declare might be expecting North to have a singleton diamond some of the time. They'll be pleasantly surprised when South is the one who turns up with the singleton. Okay, I mean, this is a little interesting. So they elect to lead a club immediately. It's hard to fault this line of play. It does look as if Declare is kind of trying to, um, rather than rough spades in their own hand, which could have like promoted the queen of diamonds into a trick, for example. They were trying to rough clubs in the north, uh, the west hand. But now that this queen of diamonds has shown up, I think this might put Declare on the right path. And now the only thing is going to be about, do they have the timing to do everything? We could click the cheat button. I'm almost at that point in the night, but I will I will stick with it for a second. So let's say Declare, yeah, leads a spade right now. Okay, so South should duck, North will win, and presumably play a second trump. Although maybe exiting the King of Clubs would have been better. But here we go. Declare has won. Oh, it's it's even simpler than I was imagining. When declare when North gets in with the Heart Queen, they can play a third trump. That'll do it. So then declare gets to pitch one on the nine of hearts, gets gets to pitch a spade on the nine of hearts, gets to rough one spade, but South will eventually score the spade king. So that will be down two and eight imps, I guess, go in the way of Spooner. The match is respectable. This means we're going to be 22 back. Two boards to go in the set. 
but then still another 90 boards to play over the course of a day and a half. And yeah, I guess it's almost anyone's game. Supposedly, um, the other side of the bracket has a pretty strong team in the, I forget who well, who it was, the, um, the Peter Gill team, uh, but the one without Sartaj Hans, or maybe I'm misremembering. I know Brad said something about this a while back, but I've forgotten. Um, <clears throat> so whichever team does end up winning this match will have their work cut out for them in the finals but they still have to put together a good showing in the next day and a half. Long thought by East. I mean, maybe not that surprising that he's taken some time here. If he were to score his King of Hearts in all five trumps, that's still only um, nine tricks. So I think it probably makes sense to take the line of play that I was suggesting, just like give up a heart to the queen, pull the last trump and claim nine tricks. So there it is, South has showed out. And now Declara basically can just claim down two, but still a nice result. I mean, really the the big result here comes from the other room where four spades made despite the 4-1 spade split. There were definitely lines of play where Declare was gonna be in trouble in four spades. I, I don't know if it necessarily would go down, but I think it would. If East just continued playing red cards rather than switching to clubs, I think Declara gets in trouble. East led the King of Diamonds, cash the Ace of Hearts. I wonder if that Jack of Hearts was like suit preference. Please don't lead clubs, please lead diamonds instead. Am I right that just a red card would beat it? I am. We are now at that point of the night where I'm just gonna click the cheat button to confirm my suspicions. But yeah, the, the four one trump split becomes too much to handle if the long trump hand gets tapped. So regardless, still a huge result for Spooner in the, that room, four spades making, two boards to go. Oh, we have results from the other table, so we are Wrapping up the set. Three hearts down one was the result of the other room. North not electing to open this 10 count. I, I don't know if that's surprising to me or not. I might have expected, given some past actions, that this could be a one spade opener. But if they are playing a 15 to 17 no trump, which it says on their card, Maybe they're among the more disciplined of the pairs in this event. So three passes around to a heart. North over calls a spade. South passes one spade. Wow. Okay. I don't like this bid or this pass. I, I think I think this is a big mistake. And people could probably learn something from, you know, not making these passes because your partner's a pat. Whoa! Well, I stand corrected. I was gonna say, West is almost certainly going to find a bid here because you know your partner's a past hand, you don't have very many values. So this really is the opponent's hand. And I think I would be, I would really want to bid two spades and force them to the three level. It seems likely that West would be 
might be in a little bit of a bind. And I don't think there's a good chance that two spades is getting doubled. Anyway, is that what happened in the other room? I'm curious. Other room, North just opened a spade and that allowed South to come in with two spades and then West, three hearts. I really don't like it. Like, I kind of understand. This is a hand where East has spade shortness, but they don't have enough values to bid. So West was just basically kind of faking as if their partner had made a takeout double. They do have 18, like I, I get that. It's just the heart suit is very holy and not in like the godly sense, more so in the fact that like you could just end up losing five heart tricks, <laughs> that type of holes in the suit. Um, and the West hand with spade length is like not actually all that good especially if you don't find a big fit from your partner. Anyway, three hearts went down one over there. How are we doing in one spade in the north? Oh, absolutely, Langert. Yeah, I, I would definitely bid three clubs as East. I I totally agree with you. I am on board with that bid. I'm, I'm not saying that, like, I think on this particular hand, I'm keeping the opponents out of something, but, like, I would much rather defend three clubs than two clubs. That's all I'm saying, right? Like, West, I think, is very likely to bid over a spade, and whether that bid is double or a no trump, the opponents might get to two clubs, they might get to one no. Either way, now we can't bid, right? So rather than defending a contract at the three level, we're defending a contract at the one or two level. That, that was kind of my main point, um, why I think I would like to bid with South. Well, it's not so clear that one spade is making, right? <laughs> we're, we're cutting things pretty close. So West can definitely win this and return the nine of spades, which they probably will. And then North can throw West in again. Which they also probably will. And how many tricks is that going to be for North-South? They're going to score three red suit tricks and a spade from here. This is going to be down one. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think West could have been balanced a no trump. Seems quite reasonable to do so. And then East could have bid two clubs over that. And then they would have played in two clubs, right? Like. At that point in time, you can no longer bid two spades as south. So, and I think that kind of, ooh, north didn't exit a spade. Well, it did kind of seem as if, um, as if we were going down anyway, but now are we going down an extra? Wait, also Wes just didn't take the spade ace. Guys, guys, you need... Because now Declara can just lead a spade towards the 10 to get an extra spade trick. Feels like we're back to down one ultimately, which is totally fine. That seems like a very reasonable... <laughs> I, I don't need protein. I need, I need reasonable bridge plays. Reasonable bridge plays. That's what we're going for. Like, West could have won the, the Queen of Spades with the Ace and played back a spade, then gotten in with a red suit, and then pulled Declare's Trump. Or if Declara went heart to the ace heart rough, then 
now Claire has no trumps and West Hand basically becomes good eventually. Oh well, <laughs> it's, it's all good, it's all good. I guess Declare is just getting out for down one here. But still, I mean, gonna be a another five imp swing. And once again, going the way of Spooner. So they're not exactly back in the match, but they're within striking distance. There'll be 17 imps after this board. I mean, unless West returns the nine of spades here. Wait, it doesn't even matter. No, Declare is just making it now. What? <laughs> this is... Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Man, ducking that queen of spades really hurt. Okay, one imp going the way of Spooner. Good stop. Good stop in one spade. Making me look foolish in my commentary. East gets to open a heart. Ooh, finally we have someone who's excited to bid their hands. <laughs> well, South's not going to be too thrilled about this. I don't think we bid a no trump as South. I think I just pass. So spade by west. You gotta come in as north. It looks like two diamonds is right. Like I could understand a three diamond bid. I, I don't like it. I think the hand has a little bit too much offensive potential that I don't wanna suggest that my hand is like a piece of Swiss cheese. Because, like, look at this. On the surface, we have one loser in diamonds with the club hook working. We're, like, effectively cold for six diamonds. I mean, we can't make six. We don't have enough trumps. But still. I mean, South just has to blast five diamonds. I don't really think there's another choice. Wow, the other table played in three no trump, making four. Three no in the south, making four. Oh, you know what? That's another good reason for bidding two diamonds rather than three diamonds, right? Like, if we bid two diamonds, partner could put us in three no if that's the right contract. If we bid three diamonds, I think we're kind of looking for five diamonds as the potential game. And I think South will expect that as well. I mean, five diamonds makes, there's no harm on this particular layout with the club ace on side. What? What was that? Disaster for Thompson, the last few boards of the set. I mean, they saved it on board 29, where a little bit of a blunder on defense allowed one spade to make, but they're losing a few imps on each of these boards, and Spooner is right back in this match. Thompson can really use some protein. You're right about that. How can you not bid? Okay, okay, listen. Obviously, North has some unconventional preamps. And I have actually played with partners before where the... Um, let's see, how do I want to put this? Where the agreement is when my partner preempts, I pass. Like, I've played with partners where, like, that is literally the agreement that, that I've had to follow. 
because they could have like such a wide variety of hands. So if that's really the talk that North South have had, I have some sympathy for not taking a call with South Sand. But still, like, I think it has become self-apparent that you have the best hand at the table as South. You probably should let someone know at some point. What is the common phrase? Don't pass throughout the auction with the best hand at the table. So how many is this going down? I mean, there's definitely a heart and a club to lose from here. And then I mean, Declare is definitely playing a club to the jack, right? That has to be the, the plan. Declare might expect that North is like 3073. And in that case, Declare will just be cold when King Third of Clubs is on side, as you might expect given the three diamond preempt. I wonder. I. I there's, okay, I shouldn't look this up because this is going to hurt my brain if it's true. But I wonder if North intended three diamonds as like intermediate, an intermediate jump. Most people only play intermediate jumps when they're vulnerable. But it's possible that that's what was going on. All right, looks like this is going to be down two, yeah? South is going to get a heart, and North is going to get a club from here. I mean, or a diamond, I guess. All right, King of Diamonds comes back. Declare are going to eventually lose a club to the 10, as well as heart to the king. Down two. Still, 430 coming in at the other table for north-south means this is going to be another eight imps going the way of Spooner, and the match is at 13 difference after two sets. 